Dear students, today we will take up the module Concept and Scope of Social and Cultural Anthropology. Anthropologists, particularly social and cultural anthropologists, study men within the ambit of humanities and social sciences. Social and cultural anthropology, a branch of anthropology, studies the social and cultural systems of societies. This branch of anthropology is recognized and taught in two different schools under two different subject titles. The term social anthropology is used in the British anthropology and cultural anthropology is used in the American anthropology. However, both of these are used together interchangeably which are explained according to their ideology and approaches. Let us see the concept of social anthropology. Social anthropology is the branch of anthropology which studies primitive societies or the small communities with simple technology and compares with certain principles of human development such as industrialization and urbanization. According to Ratcliffe Brown, the father of social anthropology, it is considered as the natural science of society in which various social institutions, values and norms are studied and compared to find the distinctive features of social systems. Several anthropologists define social anthropology in different ways. According to Ratcliffe Brown, social anthropology is that branch of sociology which deals with primitive or preliterate societies. E. E. Pritchard also supported Brown's idea of being a branch of sociology which primarily devotes in the study of primitive societies. S.F. Nadal also emphasized on the study of the cultures and social systems of the primitive peoples. As the Dubey says that social anthropology is that part of cultural anthropology which devotes its primary attention to the study of social structure and religion rather than material aspects of culture. According to Durkin, it is the relationship between the parts of a society which are individuals and institutions. The study of social institutions and relations became much stronger than before after Malinowski's visit of Trovian Islanders in Melanesia. In order to understand the structure and function of a society, analysis of social institutions and relationships involved is a must as social anthropology by and large deals with the study of society and social relations which are safe by the cultural values. It studies contemporary simple societies and network of their relations and such relations are saved by the cultural components utilized by the individual members of the society.
Let us again take the concept of cultural anthropology. Like social anthropology, cultural anthropology also studies culture and its values in a society. Social anthropology is considered as a part of cultural anthropology is culture includes everything. Cultural anthropology also studies origin and evolution of the developmental history of man and man's culture, structure, components and nature of functions in every society. Cultural anthropologists study the adaptation process of men as well as the problems of social relations. It also studies how the patterns of human behavior, thoughts and ideas are enriched, transferred and inherited among the individuals across the generations. Cultural anthropology has been defined by various anthropologists. According to Bill Sennheiser, cultural anthropology studies the origin and history of man's cultures, their evolution and development, and the structure and functioning of human culture in every place and time. M.J. Herskovitz exclaimed that cultural anthropologists study the ways man has devised to cope with his natural setting and his social milieu and how bodies of customs are learned, retained and handed down from one generation to the next. There is no doubt that different societies have different ways of perceiving an action, cultural behavior, conceptual understandings, ownerships of such values, etc. Therefore, the manifestations of culture may considerably be varied from one society to another. As per the social norms and regulations prevalent in a society, cultural anthropologists try to analyze the customs and traditions of different societies in order to appreciate the wider human nature and behavior through comparative studies. Various other sub-disciplines such as ethnology, ethnography, linguistics become the focal area for understanding different patterns of cultural diversity and similarity. Many of the subtopics are also adhered to the ambit of cultural anthropology such as economic systems, law, conflict relations, social organizations, kinship systems, psychology, etc. However, it is important to remember that there are lots of similarities in the subtopics and areas in which both social anthropology and cultural anthropology are dealt. They do not imply that they study two different things except the differences shown in their emphasis. The trust area for social anthropology remains at social institutions and relations, while cultural anthropology is focused on culture. Whether the observer is interested in the study of society or culture, the actual relation of consideration which he deals with is the people in relation to one another, their understandings and knowledge systems which are common 
in every place and time. Thus, these two traditions of studying society and culture are taken more or less the same even though social anthropology is much more the outcome of British anthropological tradition and cultural anthropology is that of American anthropology. We will take up these two traditions as one and will use the term social and cultural anthropology rather than using it separately so that we do not compartmentalize the social and cultural perspectives as we cannot study a society without the study of social relationships which are based on the cultural values. Let us look at the scope of social and cultural anthropology. Social and cultural anthropology is concerned with the study of human society and culture. In simple words, it studies social relations, behavior and cultural attitudes generally following a systematic rules and norms. It includes study of family, marriage and kinship systems, political organizations, law and legal procedures, religious rituals and activities, economic organizations, ecological systems, cultural components, customs and traditions, belief systems, art and literature, and the like. It studies both primitive or simple and complex technological contemporary societies. Such studies provide a meaningful comparative study of mankind. Social and cultural anthropology remains a branch of anthropology which deals with men from the social and cultural perspectives. Within the realm of it, various branches and specializations have been developed. Some of them are linguistics, medical anthropology, urban anthropology, economic anthropology, developmental anthropology, etc. Sometimes this branch itself was thought of merging with other branches of anthropology like physical anthropology while in other occasions with archaeology and so on. Before we go into the details of the cultural components and social relations among the members, let us take a glance over the simple and highly technological societies. Earlier until today, anthropologists are known to study primitive group of societies and communities. But who are these primitive people and why do we need to study them? Primitive societies are the societies where its members or communities use simple technologies for the process of adaptation, existence and continuation on this earth. They do have no written records of their own or little of it to represent them but embodied with rich cultural traits and long history of their own. These cultural values are also available in oral tradition. In other words, they are the societies whose lifestyles are quite simple at all levels and spans of time using simple and crude technology 
to meet their needs for existence and continuation. The social institutions of primitive societies became the attention of social and cultural anthropologists because they were considered as the connecting link with the past and present or a rudimentary form of the present modern complex societies. Their institutional and cultural aspects provided important clues for considering the idea of the origin of institutions and cultural notions of society. Their institutions were found to be simple, not so much complex like the modern societies. This provided an appreciable scope for the studying of social relations, culture and cultural changes of these communities or societies. Again, these groups of simple primitive societies do not have written records. They and their lifestyles are also changing in course of time which enables them to adopt new cultural traits, exchange relationships of social systems and cultural components that signal the importance of studying these societies before it is too late to know them as to who actually they were. Fieldwork is an integral part of anthropology. In the early part of 19th century, anthropologists did not collect information by conducting fieldwork and rather depended on the travelers, missionaries, merchants or traders. These people used to supply information about the customs and traditions of savages through the mammals of their visit and so anthropologists like Tyler and Main and many other known as armchair anthropologists rely on all this information. However, in order to collect the first-hand data, the researcher should live among the people at the work area and learn their culture. Such a tradition of living among the people was adopted and became popular after Malinowski visited the Trovian Islanders who live amongst them, learned their language and participated in day-to-day -day activities. Through film work, anthropologists can conduct various studies to generalize, testify and compare different social phenomena. The social science that is closest to social and cultural anthropology is sociology. Each of discipline deals with society but views it from different perspectives. Both the disciplines study societal aspects such as community, institutions, economy, etc. Social and cultural anthropology is new in the study of society while sociology has already developed. As regards the methodology, both the disciplines deal differently. Sociologists are expected to study the industrialized societies and also take the help of historical and contemporary records and need not explain the nature and type of society under study. Well, anthropologists when studying the society generally give 
an ethnographic account of the study area as the areas do have historical or non-written records to all. Researchers and scholars in this film today are also in favor of working with various organizational bodies which devote their time and work in the study of society. The upliftment of the downtrodden and the process of policy making. In the broadest sense, social and cultural anthropology gives a broader space for people to communicate and work with people in solving the problems which confront the societies. This branch of anthropology has also been used in areas of applied sciences where cultural significance of a society could be visualized. It helps in the reconstruction of repositories of customs and traditions. Understanding universal laws governing human society. It provides a reason for historical studies in the form of museums, academic institutions, and other written records. It also opens out to understand the social changes, different patterns of lifestyles, and thought procedures along with the customs and traditions of mankind. Various studies support the social change theories and this discipline itself develops a new avenue to tackle with the change situation by opening new specializations or sub-disciplines so that this discipline could monitor the changes and accounts of the focus area such as development of visual anthropology. The social and cultural anthropologists also adopt changes in the methods such as new ethnography which enables us to view a culture from the perspectives of a member of that studied culture or what we call the innate perspectives. It also uses native languages informants cognitive structure and systematic approach of data collection. To conclude, we can say that social and cultural anthropology studies the social structure, relations, behavior and customs. It has been used in association with other disciplines to understand mankind. As culture is learned and transferred from one generation to another, it obviously takes new things and gives away various other cultures in course of time. As society and culture is dynamic, the nature of study and focus of this discipline also changes and new ways of dealing with mankind are adopted. Earlier, social and cultural anthropology was viewed as study of simple primitive societies only. But at present, it studies contemporary complex societies by using various methods and techniques. Even though anthropology is the study of Maine, it would be quite inappropriate to say that anthropology studies human beings and everything concerned of it. In order to get detailed accounts of human beings, this discipline takes the help of other subject matter or what we call it 
as interdisciplinary studies. Through such studies, new disciplines are coming up specializing on particular topics which help in the holistic approach of studying men.